What's up fellow gamers, Lefty Lucy here. I wanted to make a quick video, I'll try to keep it quick. Um, I want to talk about the, the Justice System PvP and the recent announcement that Zenimax will no longer be pursuing this effort. Um, so essentially it's just not going to happen. Um, so, but, but what I want to do, I, I don't want to make this video about me just telling you what I think. I, I want this video to be, uh, what I want from this video is to, to open up a discussion. And I want it to be a more focused discussion because I've seen, I've seen the forums, there's all kinds of different posts. There's people saying, oh, I like this, oh, I hate this. And there's people saying, oh, we should do this instead, and no, oh, do that instead. Okay, well, I want to try and focus the conversation because it, it, everyone's, everyone's just, everyone has different opinions and, and everyone's just everywhere about it. So before I get, before I get too scrambled myself, let's, um, Let's take a second. Let's look at this real quick. Let's start from the bottom, okay? So look at this real quick. So this is the announcement from Matt. He says, um, here are some updates on the features and issues the community has been asking about. Drops a bomb. We will not be adding the previously discussed PvP component of the justice system. Boom. Not happening. Done. We caveated this many times. ESO QuakeCon. I was going to... It was going to be very difficult to make it fun, but not exploitable. Yes, it's hard. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying not to... Okay, let's, let's keep going. In, when introducing new systems into the game, our number one goal is to make sure that we don't introduce new problems. Great, that's a fantastic number one goal. It should absolutely be your number one goal. Having players enforce justice on the criminal activity of other players has the potential to introduce imbalances and other issues that greatly outweigh any potential gameplay benefits. Think about that sentence. Having players enforce justice on criminal activity of other players has the potential to introduce imbalances and other issues that greatly outweigh the potential gameplay benefits. Yes, that is true. If you do it wrong. Okay, so, sorry, like I said, I don't want to get too, too, I, I want this to be, I, I, want to, I want to take an objective approach here. I want to, I want to play devil's advocate. I want to see um, both sides of this, both, both opinions here. Okay, so if you haven't figured out yet, I am in favor of the justice system PvP. In fact, it's one of the things that's, that's kept me playing this game. The hope that this will eventually happen. Um, I've been waiting for that. But enough, enough about me. Let's, let's just talk in general. Justice system, PvP, what does it mean? So what do we know? Okay, we know we have a justice system in ESO. We know if we go around, we steal something, we get a bounty. Um, and if we get a bounty, then the guards don't like that, and they try and take money from us. Or instead of stealing something, we can go up and smack a guard. They don't, they don't like that, okay? This is the justice system. I've got a bounty down here now. Um, they're going to start killing me. They're going to take my money. So that's the justice system in a nutshell. I mean... Y so you commit a crime, and in one way or another, you pay for it, either by death or by paying off a guard, stuff like that. Um, so that's what the justice system is right now. And here's the biggest issue that I see about, um, I mean, so many people have opinions that, that they hate the justice system. So many people love the justice system. Well, what is the justice system in ESO that has PVP? What is, sorry, what is the PVP component of the justice system in ESO? We don't know. None of us know because they've never told us. All they've told us is, we're going to do this. We're going to bring PvP to the table. It's going to be part of the justice system PvP. So here's the problem that I have. People are getting off and, and, they're, and they're saying things like, Here, here's just a couple. I mean, I, I went to the forums um, and here's just, and it just took like five seconds to find all these posts that are just like, ah, this is great. I'm, I'm so happy there's not going to be any PvP um, portion to the justice system. Well, we don't know what, how they would implement it. The implementation of the, of the justice system PvP, that's, what, that's where this word potential comes from. It has the potential to introduce imbalances and other issues. Yes, if you implement it poorly. And so this is where I think things go wrong, is people, people, are, um, people are responding to just the fact that PvP is going to be outside of Cyrodiil, and they don't even know, like, I mean, how is it going to work? We, we don't even know. Is it going to be gated? Do you have to flag up? Stuff like that. So just let's look at a couple comments real quick, and, and let's see how this is going to, what people are thinking, the people that don't like it. I'm happy that there won't be any PvP outside of Cyrodiil. PvP is such a toxic waste anyway, and it's not needed outside of Cyrodiil. Keep it there and leave the rest of the game. Fun without griefers, griefers around every corner. Okay, that was a bad, that was a bad first example. This is just someone who's just like, I hate PvP, so don't do it. Okay, well, you don't have to participate in the justice system PvP if they implement it correctly. It can be gated, it can be flag-based, stuff like that. No big surprise. Would have been a nightmare to implement it without affecting people who don't want to be, don't want to participate. Okay, this has been done before. This has been done before in a bunch of games. Um, I, I, I have no sympathy for something that says it's a nightmare to implement. I have, I have no sympathy for the developers there. They said they're going to give us this content. If it's going to be hard, sorry, do it. Um, solve your problems. You know, it's, it's going to be hard. Okay, yes, it's going to be hard. Doing stuff like this is difficult, but that's your job. You know, if you say you're going to do something, then do it. Um, 
we're we're here to help you though. That's the thing. So sorry, I don't want to I don't want to sound like I'm coming down too hard on Zenimax. The community is here to help. I mean, there's there's that's the other thing that we see when we look in the forums. It's people like, yes, I like this. No, I don't like this. And then there's people like, we should do this. There's suggestions everywhere. So it's like people want to help you, Zenimax. They they want to help you do this. You said you were going to do this. And now you're saying you're not, and that's what sucks. So, uh, hang on, let's, let's go to another comment. The way the justice system is designed, committing crimes is almost a necessity, and actually is a necessity, to complete some quest. Presumably, the Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood DLCs will involve committing a lot of crimes. Good presumption. Some people just really hate PvP. Great. That's, I mean, that's perfectly fine. These people shouldn't have to limit their gold-making options, avoid certain quests, be locked out of entire DLCs, because of what could be a completely unrelated justice system which got stupidly incorporated into PvP. This was by far the smartest decision they could make. This, this being the fact that they're dropping the justice system PvP altogether. Okay, so... Um, yes, I understand some people really hate PvP. And this is, this is, that, this is, this is probably one of the best points um, for, for the argument against having the justice system PvP. Um, I, I, do not think, I do not think the justice system PvP, the, portion, the PvP portion of the justice system should prevent people from doing what they already do right now. If you don't want to PvP, you should, not be, you should not be prevented from going and attacking a guard like I just did, or going and stealing bread like I just, or like you, couldn't, you can do, um, and making money off of that stuff. Um, if you don't want to participate in PvP, I agree with that entirely. And that's, when, that's how it comes down to the implementation. That's what we're talking about. If they do something, like they incentivize the fact that you, okay, so if they make a flag system, if, if, you, if, you have to, if you have to say, yes, I want to participate in the PvP portion of the justice system, I understand that this means if I go and steal something right now, people will be able to attack me. Um, or I also understand that this means if I, if I don't go and steal something, if I'm a law-abiding law citizen, I can attack someone who has stolen something if they also have accepted the terms that they can be attacked. They flag up. That's, a, that's an opt-in system. So... My, what I'm saying is we don't know, we don't know how they're going to implement this. Maybe, and, and in my opinion, when I think about it, they would do something like that. They would not, they would not prevent people from, from participating in the current aspect of the justice system by adding PvP. In, in my opinion, this would be a separate entity. Something, maybe, maybe you can only steal things in certain towns, okay? Maybe, maybe if you go to a certain town and you steal something... Um, maybe that flags you up for PvP. Maybe that they, maybe specific acts that have no other benefit that people people like this guy right here would have no no reason to want to do that. The only the only reason you would want to do this, or, or let's say you, you kill a certain NPC, a certain NPC. If you kill that NPC, you don't get anything from it except for the fact that you're flagged up, and now you can be killed by people who are upholding the law. Stuff like that. We don't know how they're going to implement it. They could have done something like that, and that's what I thought they were going to do. Because there's no reason to prevent people from enjoying the current justice system without adding new content that doesn't affect it. It can be done. We can help you, Zenimax, is all I'm saying. There's, there's ways to do it to avoid this problem, which is, which is a very good, very good point, very good problem to put out, um, to, to, to mention. Um, so here's, here's someone saying, it, it, it wouldn't have been that bad, you know, if you don't want to participate, don't commit crimes. Okay, I don't, I don't agree with that. that. That goes back to what we were just saying. If you want to commit crimes and not PvP, you should be able to do that. And there's ways we can, we can, we can do this. We, there's ways we can do that. The other view is, I don't want to see PvP going on when I'm questing in, in PvE areas. Come on, dude. Like, if you don't want to, I don't want to see PvP, you don't have to participate. There's plenty of games out there. My favorite one, I go back to this one all the time, is called Age of Wushu. They've implemented a system where if you opt into committing crimes, um, then you can be attacked by people who have opted into upholding the law. You don't have to opt into upholding the law. You don't have to opt into committing crimes. If you do opt into upholding the law, then you can attack people who have committed crimes. But those people that have committed crimes can't attack you. It doesn't work both ways. So basically what happens is, if you implement this system correctly, um, committing crimes and putting yourself in a position where you can be attacked by people who uphold the law doesn't really give you much benefit. And, and this, this ends up working. This ends up working because the people, who, the people who will participate in that are the people who want the PvP in the first place. The people like me who want small-scale PvP that's different. That's, it's, it's never the same. It's not an arena where you queue in and you do the same thing. You know, it's always dynamic when you're in the open world. Stuff like that. So... So the, the point is, there's, the point is, it's all about the implementation. It's all about how they do it. Um, so, sorry, here's, here's what I want to do. What I want to do is I want to hear what you guys have to say, because I, I, I mean, I've, I've read, I've read plenty of comments. Here's just a few of them. Um, 
Oh, here's another one. So pleased this has been scrapped. At least I can do a bit of looting without the concern of being griefed by a PvP. Or it's bad enough avoiding the guards. I, I've, I've already said my piece about that. You don't have to participate in PvP and still... Okay, anyway, what I want to do with the video is I, I, I want you guys to... I'm going to post this on the forums too, so I'm going to make like a poll out of it. But I want you guys to comment too. So comment on the video, comment on the forum post. I want to hear what you guys think. Let's focus the conversation. Again, I wanted to get the conversation focused. I want to hear... There's, so there's two things. Are you for the justice system or are you against the justice system? So there's two opinions that you can have. Now, I want to know something else. Have you ever played a game that has a justice system PvP component? Have you ever played a game that has that? Because if, you've, if, you, if you are against the justice system and you have never played a game that has justice system PvP, how do you know you won't like it? That's, that's my stance, you know. Um, and, and so please keep in mind when, when you're making these votes, I want to hear what you, I, I want to hear why, why you're for it, why you're against it, if you've played a game that has a system like this, and, or if you haven't played a game that has a system like this. And I want to hear, I want to hear your thoughts because right now I have not seen a single reason a single reason that has convinced me that the PvP portion of the justice system would be a bad idea. Yes, it could be implemented poorly. It could be done wrong. If you, if you, if you do what this guy is, is afraid of and you prevent people from participating in the justice system without, without flagging up and... Um, or sorry, if you, if you pre prevent people from participating in the justice system without having to worry about being PvP, um, attacked by a PvP, -er, that's a problem. I don't think Xenomax would do it like that. In, in, in my opinion, I don't think Xenomax would do it like that. And you know, I, I've, I've played games with Justice System PvP components, and this is why I'm asking you guys, is, is because I think, I think certain people who are against the Justice System PvP think that when they walk around in Glenumbra now, and, and it's, it's, it's PvP is activated, this is just going to be complete chaos like Cyrodiil is. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that if it's implemented properly. If you give the right incentives, if you balance the rewards, like, you know, we're going back to it has the potential to create imbalances. Okay, we'll, we'll eliminate that potential by balancing things. Make things balanced. Um, put things in favor of the people upholding the law if you want. I'm happy with that because I'm going to be one of the people who, who, um, who don't uphold the law because I want to I fight people. So, um, anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting off topic. Sorry, I'm rambling. This is something, like I said, this is something I'm very passionate about. This is, this is the, the one thing that I wanted to see with ESO. This is... This is, this is something that would make ESO, in my opinion, a well-rounded game if it's implemented properly. A game that I want to play for a very, very long time. And I'm very disappointed to see that this is no longer, no longer in the works. So, again, do you want the justice system? Do you not want the justice system? Why? And also, have you ever played a game with a justice system PvP component? Have you ever experienced anything like that? Um, please keep in mind that we do not know what Xenomax was going to do. So if you're, if, you're, if you're saying, I don't want the justice system PvP because I don't want to get griefed whenever, I'm, whenever I steal bread, how, how do you know you're going to get griefed? You know, how do you know it's going to work like that? You don't. So don't, don't, don't just flame on the forums against this PvP uh, justice system component if, if we don't know what it's going to be. You know? I mean, and that's the same reason why I'm not like, yes, give it to us, yes, 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 because I might hate it too. If they do it wrong, I might also hate it. But right now, in my current understanding, all the things I've talked about earlier in this video, um, if, if it were implemented that way, I would absolutely love that PvP system. And I would love this game as a whole because it would add such a... It's, it just adds layers. It just adds layers to this game. Layers of fun, layers of content. Something that I really want to see. So... I just want, I, I want to hear what you guys have to say because I'm not convinced. I, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people saying I hate the justice system PvP and I don't, I haven't seen a, a single good reason for it. I've seen a lot of assumptions on how it would be implemented I, and, and honestly, I haven't seen, I haven't seen a single good reason and that doesn't mean that there isn't a good reason out there. I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say that um, if you're against it, then you're wrong. That's not what I'm saying at all. Please let me know what you think because I, I legitimately want to understand both sides of this argument. Um, Sorry I rambled a lot there, guys, but I, like I said, something I'm passionate about. So um, I look forward to reading your, 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 your comments and your responses on the forums, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you.